Okay, welcome back to the Upload TV and thank you for joining The Average Golfer. I'm out here, a little bit of a working holiday and it's Tenerife this time for Man vs Golf Hole Challenge. And I'm gonna do it a little bit differently this time around. So normally it's three holes per course, but I'm gonna play, I'm playing three courses over the next uh, three or four days. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna film one hole from each of those courses and at the end of it, we'll have a winner. It'll be Man or Golf. I've chose this first hole, it's a par five. I'm at Golf Del Sur, that's the first golf course I'm playing. Um, I'm gonna show you plenty of videos in and around the golf course and where I've been staying, all things like that. That's a separate video, but for this, Golf Del Sur, this hole is, um, I think it's just over 500 yards, a par five. It's stroke seven, so strategically picked this one because I still managed to sneak a shot in. There's some great views when I switch this camera around and uh, you'll see the tee in position, some great views. I've just got it some great golf shots to match and that's a debatable bit. But for the time being, I'm gonna move the camera, get teed up, and in the meantime, just have a little look around this golf course. Okay, camera in position, you've had a good look around Golf Del Sur, so you can see I've had a bit of a warm up, seen a few shots. I must admit when I first arrived, it was a lot calmer than this. Bit of wind picked up, but no excuses because it's I think it's a bit behind me, so uh, there's no excuses here. Getting a shot, bit of wind assisted, but what a view that is, what a backdrop. It really has got some cracking views. Most of the holes that you play around here. Anyway, enough talk and we've got it a golf shot. So I'm brought the driver with me. I'm going with the longest club, got a, a three hybrid, and we'll try and get down there somewhere. It's uh as you see it, I think, and green over the hill somewhere in the distance. Slightly left to right, it should be left side of the fairway. Happy with that, got that bit out of the way, so we'll move the camera back down there and uh, see if we can make a par on this one. Right, so first bit accomplished, I found the middle of the fairway, so what a great start that is. Um, I'm looking to try and get another, I've got hybrid again, another sort of 180 down there be perfect and hopefully then we've got a view of the green. I've seen a flag just, blue flag perched on top of the hill, so somewhere hopefully with a wedge in hand next time you see me. Well, absolutely chuffed with that one. It was uh, better than the tee shot, to be honest with you. And I think, I mean, good nick there. I've got someone behind a camera who knows this course better than me. Any good, Carlos? Yeah, I think that's perfect. Then. Should be in a good nick. Should be, should be on the fairway. Yeah. Perfect is not a word we hear very often on this channel, so I'll take that one. Right, <laughs> move camera and see if we've got that wedge in hand. Right, really happy again, like I said, in good nick. And I've just had a little walk to the brow, just to have a look what lies between me and, uh, and the flag. And there's a bunker sort of right on the, uh, on the line to the flag. So I'm gonna try and stay a bit left of that, but there is a, a breeze. I did say it was helping off the tee, but that wasn't the case. It's definitely coming sort of across and, uh, and in a little bit. So, or am I making excuses now? I've gotten a bit near the hole, I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm gonna hit, it's only 130 yards. I'm gonna hit a soft eight iron, just see if I can uh, get through that wind a bit.
you see I've caused it way too heavy hopefully got somewhere uh, I don't know whether there's another bunker left uh, I can't see that yet but not a great shot okay so just described it to Carlos as a good bad and it was uh, got away with it wasn't too far left that it found this bunker on the left hand side there's a big down slope so I've gotten about as far down here as I could have from that poor shot so I've got a stroke on this one so I've just used it really so it's a case of uh, up and down or certainly up and uh, two put I'd take right now Okay, well it checked up quite nice. I don't know what that is. Eight, ten foot for a par and that'd be a win. Right, I've just been at a quick read. I think slightly off the left hand side and it's slightly uphill so should be able to give this one a little bit of a roll and uh, fingers crossed make the par and get this ten Tenerife man versus golf hole challenge off to a win. Right, come on. I, had, I thought I had that for a bit. Okay, so it didn't break quite as much as I thought. Fairly happy with the way I struck the putt, to be honest with you. But anyway, I'll take the six after that. Unfortunate third bad shot. I think I'm more than happy with the way I played the old, to be quite honest with you. Um, overall opinion of this golf course. It's in, it's in nice condition. I like these black bunkers. They're difficult to play from. It's a lot different. Black sanding bunkers, which you've seen from the footage I threw up earlier. I love the way they look. I'd have to play them a few times to get used to it. Um, putting surfaces have been good and it's been a good start to this break at Golf del Sur so that one is halved and tomorrow I'll see you at another golf course and another man versus golf hole challenge. Day two of the Tenerife Man vs Golf Hole Challenge and uh, I'm at Abama Golf Club uh, just outside Adeki. This place I can tell you is pretty special. I've only had a quick drive around the place, practice facilities, clubhouse, but seriously, this is nice. Um, we'll take a closer look in a minute or two, but this hole is pretty special. Take a look at some drone footage that's going over for you now. Um, I've decided to play this one right off the back knocker. It's 221 to that flag you can see. Water for the first, I don't know, maybe 150, 160 yards. And then that little brook continues down the left hand side. And then the green itself is protected by a number of bunkers. So what the heck am I doing taking this one on? I just can't ignore it. That's the thing, it's stroke index three. That tells you how tough it is for a par three. And it's mixing it up a bit. I don't normally do par threes for the challenge. So uh, why not? Longest club I've got, unfortunately with me is a hybrid at 220 we're elevated it's going to take my Sunday best to get there and I'll move cameras and we'll make a go of this pretty soon but before we get started just have a little look around about my golf course.
like I said it's pretty special isn't it and you've seen more of it than I have because a lot of what I've just filmed and shown you is after I've played this shot but uh, yeah unbelievable golf course it's in superb condition and uh, now all that remains to see is whether I can get 220 yards out of a uh, three hybrid we'll soon find out I think that's gone straight into the uh, centre bunker. It was a decent enough strike. I always said it was going to be overstretching. I've probably got 200 with this thing, and uh, I would suggest that's about what I've got out of it. It's gone in, I think, that front bunker, right on line for the flag with that, but more than happy with the strike. But what a tee position this is. Absolutely fantastic. I could uh, just sit here all day, to be honest with you, and talk to you, but I'd better go and try and get out that bunker shot. Don't forget, I've got a shot, so I've still got a chance of getting something out of this hole. Now some of you may have noticed I was slightly hesitant on describing where that had landed because I did a Lotus for fair distance away. I had a feeling it might have just pulled up and I'm literally inches away from going into the bunker but I'm, uh, I'd take it to be honest with you where I'm at so I've got to get one high tailor made high toe wedge, flick one up in the air, land it by the flag, tap in putt and a man versus golf or win. Yeah, we'll see Ant. Almost as described, it's quite not quite the tapping, but I'll certainly take it. It pitched and stopped, and uh, I don't know from back here, it looks at four, five, six foot. Still got a chance of making par on this awesome par three. It was a bit of a fist pump because that almost uh, slipped off to the left hand side it was trying its very best and I'm actually delighted with the par I got lucky coming up short to the bunker it would have been a far more difficult shot from the bunker and a reasonably fluffy lie as well but as I keep saying what a fantastic golf hole that is it was a shot for the average golfer so that puts me one up in the Tenerife man versus golf hole challenge with only one to play which is tomorrow it's at Costa Adeki Golf Club so I'll see you then Yes, so day three is here. The sun is still shining. I'm at Costa Adeki Golf Club. I've come to the fourth hole. I never know what's to come, so I film these uh, man versus golf hole challenges when I see fit. And to be honest with you, I drove around the corner, seen this backdrop, and had to switch the camera on. So drone is going over. This is a par four. It's probably paying about 4.30, even a little bit more, stroke seven. As you already know, I've only got the hybrid, so it's going to take a couple of whacks with this. But I'm still willing to take on the challenge because I just need to show you this golf hole. It's one of them ones, I've just drove through the uh, few trees, this whole thing opens up and all of a sudden Costa Adeki Golf Club springs into life. That backdrop's amazing. Uh, as with all the courses, it's been pretty spectacular. So 420, 430, it's, it's 400 meters basically. Um, 
a little bit of wind off the sea as well which isn't great I get a shot that's the only good news it's stroke seven but before we get to that I'll give you a little bit look around Costa Adeki Golf Club Okay, so we'll be quick. Four ball is just behind us, not too far off the tee. So like I said, going with hybrid, give it the best I've got. Two palm trees left of the green target line. And I'll need a pretty decent start with this hybrid. That's left of target, quite a long way left. That was more down towards the red hut, pulled that one down the left, just trying to give it that extra bit more with only the hybrid in hand, but uh, I think it'll be okay, but I can also see some red stakes down there as well. Okay, so we've come to rest, we've got a long way to go. It's still 2.30ish into this one, and like I said, into a bit of breeze off the sea, so maybe just too much of a challenge to expect to try and get up in two. Having said that, if I can get 200 out of this and leave myself a fairly straightforward chip down the middle of that green, you just never know. What I will say is that when you stood here, hopefully you can appreciate why I filmed this particular hole. Okay, so quick look over the brow. I had to cut that one short because the game right behind me, but basically let that one just slip out a little bit left to right, a bit too much. We cleared the bunkers. I probably would have grabbed that front bit of the green if it had been straight, but anyway, this is where we are. Slightly nestled a little bit. It's one of them ones high up in the air and hopefully get it to pitch up near the green. It worked at a bammer yesterday, so fingers crossed. see it's a lot uh, very very fluffy lie so it'll be interesting to see if this one grips at all I'll turn the club over a little bit in that uh, in that grass there but it's pitched up fairly much pin high but I'd, like I said took that one down the left so it's now 10 or 12 foot to save par that give me the win or well, I've still got two for the half don't forget I have absolutely no idea 
it went in it was probably going to go about six foot past because i had that a little bit too quick but either way somehow i made a miraculous par on another man versus golf hole challenge and uh, really pleased with the par but it's just all about this golf hole isn't it i mean i'm going to pan just back right up from where i played from as well because you've got these great sort of um stone walls that layer down the fairway as well which is another stunning feature at uh, a decky golf club but anyway the end of the man versus golf hole challenge it's been a fantastic few days in tenerife um sun has shone for these uh, for this week and i think it does pretty much all year round it's a pretty decent golfing venue uh, lots of other golf courses um in and around this area and i'll show you those in a separate video but for the time being i think i ended up yeah two up so man versus golf hole tenerife style was well and truly won by the average golfer this time so as ever thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it i'm going to carry on playing a few more holes at uh, this pretty decent golf course